Hello friends, welcome again. And uh, now we have uh, installed Puppet Enterprise. You see that it is uh, now installed and all the Enterprise Puppet server installed. It's verified and the M collect M collective functioning on. That is, it is functioning properly and backup install logger files also <coughs> done. So now just click start using Puppet Enterprise. Just click and just allow it to be logged in username is admin and the password is a b c d one two three four i have just given it and uh, here it is uh, we have just uh, logged into the uh, enterprise console puppet enterprise uh, config is configuration management console and here uh, these are all configuration if you want to do configure and it will show if you go to nodes here it will show what are the nodes already uh, registered with the um, master <coughs> so here it is showing only one node that it's it it is itself like there is a uh, an agent running on the uh, server itself and there is nothing uh, for signing any certificate uh, okay, that that's what we are uh, now. What we do is uh, <clears throat> let's go and run our uh, compile master server. Okay, <clears throat> so this is what I am um, also going to run the demo node uh, server. Okay, so I'll just go and start both. compile master and the puppet demo node okay both i'll try to now join to my cluster uh, my enterprise uh, uh, node uh, the puppet master i'll uh, join them so that <coughs> in the nodes category it will in the inventory of nodes it will appear here once we add those nodes now okay it is running now let's log in there first to this uh, server uh, the compile master okay now we i just did uh, an uh, sss to the compile master and just what you do is here if you see nodes on send certificate here it is showing if you want to add a node to manage uh, by puppet enterprise what you do is take this command and run in that console okay and uh, just most in cases a simple following command in the node okay follow this command in the node just <coughs> run it so what you do is uh, <coughs> just run okay i just uh, copied this command which was showing in the console and i started it is connection refused oh, okay sorry um, here uh, i need to change okay here i what i have done is uh, i have not set off my etc host like sudo vi it is a host okay here so it, it didn't recognize which which one is the host so just what you do is uh, just copy from here um, copy all the three lines and just paste it and also same thing with the node uh, another node we do and uh, this is the demo node and uh, just uh, copy it here as well same thing okay 
so now we are done in the booth now read on this uh, software uh, the command which we just now it is it is recognized and uh, this is not refused now and same thing we can do also we can run this command copy and we can do here as well in the puppet demo node just run that command and now okay it is complete and here also it is going to be completed <coughs> So it is downloading the packages. It is doing an yum install, and uh, this is done. And now, let's see. Go to notes and see the inventory unsigned certificate. It should appear here. We'll we'll wait for some time so that the notes will be appeared. As long we we can either. Uh, from the command line we can uh, set, uh, accept those certificates or uh, we can sign from the certificate from here as well so i'll do a refresh notes okay unsigned certificates here is appearing now unsigned certificates too now um, accept and accept i will see that see uh, here puppet compile master and puppet daemon node both are appearing here i'll go ahead and either i can accept all or i can accept individual okay accept and accept so both are accepted certificates are accepted now it should appear in my inventory here right <clears throat> now classification here what i'm going to do is i'm going to run this one as the puppet uh, compile master right so i have to add here you do see that pe master there is a group there is a node group called pe master right just click there and here already puppet enterprise server is added so here i can puppet and it should appear here possibly it is taking some time okay here it's appearing now puppet compile master unsigned certificate and classification go to pe master and here now compile master is appearing just type you want to search here pu you see just pu puppet compile master it's appearing here now just pin this node so now it is we have assigned this particular uh, compile master node inside the p master purpose enterprise master right so once and save continue discard changes continue editing and here after adding it just commit the change once we commit and you see that now puppet demo node is also added we will not add that is just for a, a normal node but i want to have this um, this two as my two uh, okay why it is appearing this way you see because uh, while i have uh, not if you type the host name uh, compile master but whereas if you um, host name it is appearing local domain what i did is while uh, set up i uh, did that differently setting up the domain name as the host name that's why it is appearing differently okay anyways that should not be an issue but <clears throat> after uh, adding to the compile master what i'll do is i'll run here in the compile master i'll run uh, sudo puppet agent minus t
okay sudo su I'll just run this command so this will uh, try to download all the required configurations so that this will be uh, added as a compile master so once we add once we add that first we do in the classification go to the master and add it and pin it after that run a puppet go to uh, root b as a root and do puppet agent minus t so this will be added as a uh, puppet uh, compile master and i'll not do the same here just this will be a normal uh, demo node so where i'll run my all my puppet uh, uh, scripts and i'll pull all those here so even if we can do here itself So uh, that is the basic uh, configuration for uh, creation of uh, the Puppet Enterprise server as and adding a compile master and adding a, a Puppet demo node kind of thing. Any application node you want to add also you can add this way. And how to do that is by just running this command on the node which you want to add to the enterprise server uh, you can add it and you can sign it so from here itself so let's see what is happening here yes now it is see this one when i run puppet agent it just applied because uh, nothing is there to apply but here after adding that as the compile master um, i ran the same command and it is uh, almost downloaded everything a lot of packages and to uh, elevate itself to a master kind of thing so now that's all so here now my i have uh, two um, in i have two uh, puppet enterprise server and the compile master so these are the two will be responsible for uh, compiling and implementing all the scripts whatever we write and here if you want to apply just just for uh, you can create your new group in fact you can add a group so here you can add all your uh, so here I, I can create a group called uh, maybe some web web group and uh, this is group okay here group name web group and is just maybe production or environment group and for web servers just add then you can app group or uh, devops group uh, Then DevOps groups you can add agent specified. Okay, so I can add DevOps groups and web group. I can create some web servers and uh, just so I'll just create some um, to the DevOps group. Um, I'll add that server what I have DevOps group and matching node uh, rule. Um, node name uh, here just double click it should appear here demo node and a pin node so now commit and now I in this uh, DevOps group I have added the puppet, puppet demo node um, 
the node in the server node okay and here if you want to apply some classes to a particular node in this devops group you can just select nginx and all these things and once you suppose here add the class and uh, we should able to uh, go forward and implement this any any class who you want that's the basic thing uh, for puppet enterprise server but i'll uh, show more detailed demo in my next video and uh, thank you for watching